Hey there guys, Cubby here and Brandon here as well for a little thing we're going to do a little differently. Trailer trash talk like normal, but since we've kind of been busy with work and life and unfortunately other things, uh, we haven't been able to talk about E3 whatsoever. And I feel this year compared to last year and even the year before then, it was actually really, really exciting because we actually did get to see a lot of brand new games, uh, new IPs, but then also at the same time, just amazing graphics. Yeah, well, I mean, now everything's next gen. Next gen exactly, so exactly. Well, it's almost kind of technically it's current gen. Current gen. Because it's already out, but but still, either way, either way, it's awesome and it's here now. And the first up, we're gonna watch the Arkham Knight gameplay trailer, and we're gonna watch it with you guys, and we're gonna talk about it. And uh, let's go. Let's do it. This is the one I'm stoked for. Yeah. So it starts off. Batman's putting on his. Uh, is arm his I like how awesome. it's armor in this game. I mean, I don't like that it's armor, that it's switching to that. I, I'd like Batman to have a suit, like a classic superhero suit, but it makes sense. Because well, this scene, it's, like, it makes sense for in Arkham. Origins, it makes Origins sense for such Batman. A letdown that I'm really excited for. The and then one of the, the, the most badass things to happen ever, Wayne Tower. Hey, uh, I'm gonna use my cape. I just want to go back up that way. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to get That's up there. Awesome as hell. Yeah, this um, looks really cool. I mean, it's weird because it's the same city every game, but now it just looks like Gotham. A hundred times larger. Well, it looks like Gotham to me more so than this looks like Tim Burton's Gotham, like just hmm, the high I, buildings and the. Well, the, Chris Nolan's Gotham, Chicago. So that's just like straight up. It's not even well, I mean, really this looks Gotham. More like this looks Chris like Chris Nolan's first fat Gotham. Well, not even, I wouldn't even say that. Like, you like you said, Tim Burton, but Hopping then also... The Batmobile is yeah, that's pretty cool, but when he jumps out of it, it's even cool. But uh, uh, I feel like it's... uh tearing shit up. Uh, kind of like Tim burton kind of uh, Chris Nolan, in a sense, because it seems real. It seems like actually like a police car is chasing a, a, a criminal right there. That's like totally real. It's totally what's going on in the world. This is a prime, prime one city. There's a reason Batman is here. But... Pretty much showing that he oh, oh. rules at I, driving. I, yeah, I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot more choppy with actual people playing the game. Uh oh, battle mode. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Red lights. You know, something. Cannon. Something's going to happen. I like how they put like repulsor cannon, like rubber bullets, so you're not just murdering people. Well, not even that. They also have like the regular ammunition. Like, look at that. How are you gonna Be tell careful. me you, you take a rubber bullet from a 50 caliber rifle? Yeah, but I mean, it's well, it's, it's just like all the Batman games. You're beating the crap out of somebody. You're breaking these dudes' necks in the walls, yeah. and it's like, oh, you took them down successfully. Took down. This looks awesome the way it moves and everything. Yeah. And I'm just stoked that the Batmobile is part of this big uh, part of this game. Yeah, I was just reading today that uh, oh, yeah, shit. homing device, awesome. Uh, but I was just reading today that uh, yeah, this is this is probably my favorite part. Burnout to ejection, and then you get to fly. Like you're actually just flying. Like you really get a lot of height in this as compared to the other games. Like That's, really this is like one of my favorite parts. Come up and do that. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite parts of, of playing Batman. So the fact that you get to do it like this is pretty sweet. Well, I mean, I was kind of bummed. I had to buy an Xbox One to play this stuff, but the whole next gen stuff is really awesome. Yeah. I mean, just the seamless stuff. I mean, you shouldn't be bummed by having to buy an Xbox. Yeah, it's just, it's just, an Xbox. Yeah. You have to move on up. You knew it was coming. Move. I like how there's like fear takedowns and stuff, though. I'm excited to see more of this game, just the villains and everything in it, too. Like, more Easter eggs. I'm really hoping for Court of Owls, if you're listening, if this is still being developed, because obviously it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already completely written. Well, there better be some Court of Owls crap in here. That's what the people want. I'm the people. So I like that you can really tell, I, I really like that you can tell that Batman is a uh, lot more experienced. Like not even, well, I mean he was a badass in all the other games, but it's like he's he's got everything down. And then when they did this, this was pretty, this was pretty intense. Like what the hell is going on right now? What, what, what? So yeah, after, after the first game, I expect this kind of stuff, because for those of you that played the first game, I'll go and him and you were playing and the scarecrow froze the screen and you thought the game like broke i was tripping yeah how many more bones would you crush but uh, you know i did read today that um the scarecrow missions are all going to be uh 
uh, PS4 exclusive, which is well, there's the kind of big bad guy. No, it didn't didn't seem like he's the big ba big bad guy. The big bad guy looks like it's the Arkham Knight or whatever the hell that is. Whatever the hell is going on. It's, I feel like that's kind of like an OMAC thing, being that that is very fresh. But um, uh, I do know that there's a bunch of Batmobile centric missions dealing with the Scarecrow that are PS4 exclusive. So. That'll be cool for me. Sucks for you because you don't want to get a PlayStation. That's fine. I love my Xbox.